Please welcome back to the show the one, the only Jack Black, everybody. Nobody, uh, nobody makes an entrance like Jack Black. You okay, bro? I had an idea that I was gonna rock with the band to kill some time because I don't have anything to say. Yeah. And I was like, don't worry, Jables, just rock with the band, sing about Seth Meyers. And I didn't have a mic though. Yeah. I got over there and I just started singing. Could you hear any of the lyrics? No, we didn't hear any. Were they some pretty, were they pretty? Seth Meyer, he's not a liar. See, these are really good lyrics. Something else, my man is on fire. <laughs> oh. You just didn't think it through. You left out some of the details before you got into it. I miss you, man. How have you been? I've been really good. I miss you. It's always great to see you. You're crushing it out here. I love your work. <laughs> Let me give you, let me let you take a little bit of a breather just to show that this is not something, this is not just a, a one-time thing. This is the uh, premiere of Jumanji, and you brought it for that red carpet as well. I do. This is a man who is getting a lot of height in front of The Rock, no less. Look at that. It's true. You, you got some rest time. You, you found some time for yourself. To, like, I did. Yeah. I took a little breather. Are you a... Uh, when you go that hard, you have to take a breather. You have to take a breather. Uh, your children, we were talking backstage, yeah. you got a decade on me with your kids. They're 13 and 11. And uh, were they psyched? Did you bring them? Did they like the premiere? Will I be out of breath all the way through this segment is the question. Yeah. Will I catch my breath before we cut to commercial? <laughs> and the answer, I'm afraid, is no. <laughs> Are you Seth Meyer, <laughs> he's not a liar. Ooh, my, 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 send the back on fire. I didn't work out. Thank you. Yeah. I didn't work out the second half of that stanza. Yeah, you put something, four. Something. You, need a, you need like a fourth rhyme. What were we talking about, my boys? Yeah, your boys. Were they a fan? Do they like, are they proud to see their dad on the big screen? They are uh, fans, but they are reluctant fans. Okay. They're at that age, 11 and 13, where they're like, everything I say and do is, is inherently uncool. But um, I think that's natural. Yeah. But it must be hard because I think a lot of dads like never were cool. Yeah. You were cool. <laughs> like it must be hard for them. Do you feel like they don't quite fully understand? I know that they love me underneath yeah. their teenage <laughs> angst. Yeah, right. And they did have a blast at the premiere. Um, and, uh, yeah. and my boy, my oldest boy, Sammy said, I'm gonna review this movie. And he reviews a lot of movies and he puts them on his Instagram. Okay. And I said, Sammy, you do not have to review I'm in it. It's going to be weird if you review a movie your dad's in. He's like, no, no, I really liked it. I'm going to give it an 8.5. Wow. And I was like, that's certified fresh. That's not bad, yeah. But I was like, if you're going to review my movie, can we, can we get it up to a 9? <laughs> 9.2? Does he get 9s? There, are there a lot of 9s? Oh, yeah, Joker got a 10. Oh, so and I know rough. what you're thinking. Wh how could you let your 13-year-old see Joker? That's bad parenting. And I say, it was genius. It was still, I enjoyed it. And my boy loved it. Sometimes I do the wrong thing. Yeah. And you don't beat yourself up for it. I do beat myself up for yeah. it. Yeah. Parenting you... is hard. You're always wondering if you're blowing it. Yeah. Did you, when you walked out of Joker after it was over, did you have a moment of like, maybe let's not let mom know about <laughs> Joker? There was a moment during the movie, and those of you who saw it probably know which part I'm thinking about, where I was like, I hope that Tanya never sees this movie. <laughs> And sees what I've exposed my yeah, because there's definitely possible trauma that could take place. Yeah. If you take a kid to that movie. But you got to take your kids uh, because of filming Jumanji, you got to take them to Hawaii. Yep. Yeah. Did they enjoy that? Did they have a good yes, time? Yes, the boys had a blast. 
Well, you know, Jum the new Jumanji, we got a lot of different locales. Yep. In the first one, it was all jungle, and it was in Hawaii. We shot in the jungles of Hawaii. Yeah. You don't think of jungle when you think Hawaii, but um, in the center of uh, the island, there was a lot of jungly places. And, <laughs> and so they could have come to any of the uh, locations, because we went snow this time in Canada. We went to the desert dunes in New Mexico, but they wanted to come to, to Hawaii. And uh, we, we partied at the, there's like some water slides at this one. Oh, who cares? <laughs> I got tired in the middle you of that story. It. You lost it. You, you started thinking about how sweet it must have been to be on a water slide. You don't have to talk at all, just on a sweet tube, letting gravity do the just work. Just go crazy with the scissors later and just edit this into one streamlined segment. Yeah, <laughs> just where you're just like popping from story to story.